some kind of card? Yeah, I just bought it over Wait, that's... Phantom Thieves? Is that actually real? It's Aiden Regal. That girl is Aiden Regal. I'm pretty sure. Testing! One, two, one, two. Okay, looks like we're live. So, I just talk into this. You're not, man. Just say it. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Are you listening, Cronoli? Toying with innocent lives. Slandering us. You've been busy. But so have we. Now, it's payback time. Ready or not, here we come! To the villain who thinks he's a hero, Akira Kanoe. You stole the desires of countless people. And tonight, we're baking them? Uh, I mean, taking them? Oh, you had one line! I meant to say that, baking them. You know, like in a moment. Seriously? It's a practice. Isaac Ryuji to mess up. The Phantom Thieves. Impossible. To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kanoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and shifting the blame for the murder of one of his employees. On top of that, Party A is also guilty of wrongfully imprisoning a group of minors. Therefore, in addition to putting out a formal warrant of arrest for Party A's crimes, tonight, the Phantom Thieves will commit some larceny of their own and take back every desire you've stolen? Is this some kind of joke? Emma, what the hell is going on? I, I thought we trapped them in the jail. Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Don't give me that, Emma! I'm your master! Now answer me, damn it! Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Unable to answer. God damn it! <laughs> that throw animation. My heart? You wretched little urchins! I won't be defeated so easily. Oh, that. Back the desires. It's the lingering will? What? It looks straight up like a lingering will. Or a Power Ranger. If you want to be more specific, I guess. Or more well known. Why isn't Ryuji falling off the blimp? Got me. You think you can steal from me? Fools! I am the very hero these people have been praying for. The Phantom Thieves are the evil that stands in the way of that. Come, let's see who changes who. Alright, he kind of looks like the Lingering Will. I think a Power Ranger. I think a Power Ranger is kind of what they were going for there. Dispensing the calling cards from the enemy's own airship. What a truly impeccable strategy. How much you want to bet the police are already all over that thing? Aww, you want to be sad when they find out we were broadcasting from a remote location? Nice job, Monans and Kichi. Sheesh. That was some contraption you put together. You did good too, Sophia. All I did was search the web for a blueprint we could use. Was it okay for us to leave it on the airship, though? Nah, I built it using a bunch of junk parts you can find just about anywhere. We're in the clear. Word has certainly reached Kanoe by now. Yeah, but that calling card... Couldn't have added a little more spice there, Gramps? I thought it was flawless. To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kanoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and... Party A? It's an arrest warrant. Is there a problem? It's supposed to be a calling card. What the hell is this Party A crap? Better than any other calling card you've ever written, Ryuji. Oh, shut up. Real big talk come from the guy who screwed up his line. What? Look, I told you, I didn't screw up. We're baking them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's all laugh together. That was kind of funny. It was very Zinkichi. I was thinking that exact same thing. You're right. It's very much Zinkichi san style. I thought it was different. Fine, whatever. If things go well, hopefully this will be the last one. The last calling card. Huh. Kinda sad when you think about it. Oh, don't make me cry. Hey, this fight's just getting started. Alright, here we go. Time for the big finish. 
Okay, yeah. Last calling card. Air quotes. Possibly the last one. There's no way there's more after this. This is the end. Like, just look at this. This does not feel like the final boss. Like, you can just tell. Also, we gotta use Zenkichi. It's- this just got personal. Also, we're gonna bring in Morgana. And I think, um... Why Makoto? That's a good team to go with. Yeah. Oops. Oh, we got the lyrical life will change. Or do they always give you this one? I don't remember. Not for you. Oh, you got Summer Recarm, that's right, I remember. I haven't used this cat in so long. Um, I think this is a decent team. I'm kind of thinking if I want Makoto or not. Yeah, we'll, we'll roll with this. I don't have any bomb points oh. either. Alright. Everybody ready? So this is the final battle. Let's change Kanoe's heart and put an end to this. Yeah, okay, final battle. Yeah, let's give it everything we've got. Okay, where to next? Oh, hey. Okay, the lock opened just like we thought. Now we can make our way to those chains. That's a tall tower. That's literally the size of Shimra HQ. So I think that's a dire shadow. I can see it. Meaning I do not want to mess with it right now. You're prepared. So you've come. A warm welcome to the terrorists who toy with others' hearts in the name of their self-righteous justice. The infamous Phantom Thieves. As if you've any right to talk. You who repeatedly takes control of whomever you please. And you even tried to pass us off as a bunch of killers. You're the real bad guy here. Huh. It would appear you haven't realized just how similar we are. What? We're one and the same. We both detest this rotten society and struggle day after day to combat it. With our power to change hearts, we strive to incite change among the masses. Don't kid yourself. There's no way you're the same as us. We all know about your past. It must have been terrible for you, but still... What you're doing now makes you no better than a common criminal. I change hearts in order to exterminate the evils of this world. Are we not essentially the same? I'm simply introducing a system to keep things in order. And by creating monarchs, I'm ensuring everything plays out according to plan. What are you talking about? When the cognitive world revealed itself to me, I took it as an act of divine revelation. It was my birthright to change this godforsaken planet. With the cognitive world in my grasp, I could wipe all evil from the face of the earth. I would not waste such an incredible gift. But in order to see that dream realized, I needed a world that could be controlled. Controlled? What do you mean? I needed a world that would allow me to erase even the slightest traces of evil from people's subconscious minds. To that end, I required something that could reach everyone and bring them to submission. Yes, it seems AI was the solution to that problem. Thus, the next step was to acquire Emma and have it learn more about cognitive science at the research lab in Okinawa. The end results were the jails created by Emma. Unique cognitive worlds in which no heart no matter how cold, to resist being changed. You saying Emma made the jails? 
So that's why the jails were left standing even after we defeated the monarchs. I mean, it, it all lines up. Emma being the catalyst for the jails. The jails aren't perfect, mind you. A jail's area of effect only covers roughly one city. Peculiar how such a phenomenal power has such a limited range. In order to change the hearts of all humanity, I needed nothing short of an army of monarchs. So I began gathering pawns. Powerless, lamenting puppets who felt as hopeless on this earth as I was. And do you know what happens when you grant people like that the power to change hearts? They welcome their newfound power with open arms. And by using Emma to guide them, keeping them under control is a menial task. With the monarchs I personally selected, I could change the hearts of the festering rabble who calls this rotten place home. With the monarchs at my command, I could change the heart of anyone who dares step out of line. That was the end game. Operation Oracula. But you phantom thieves had to show up and ruin everything. Ah, uh, you know, it's what we do. We're phantom thieves after all. So when we started taking down your jails, you got scared that your plan would fail. That's why you used the police and turned Akane into a monarch. It was all an attempt to stop us. It's not too I can still erase these obstacles and start over. It won't save anyone? <laughs> You're still so naive. But eventually, even you will come to understand. Fight all you want. The most you can do is change the hearts of a scant few. Don't you see that my way is far more efficient? So everything will be fine as long as you're the one making all the decisions? Who do you think you are? Some kind of god? You're just forcing your ideas on everyone else! What foolish logic. So when you change people's hearts, it's right. But when someone else does it, it's wrong. I've built an entire infrastructure for changing hearts. What was impossible for you, I have made a reality. As a hero, I will reign over the whole world with infallible justice. You used Akane for this ridiculous plan of yours? She was just an innocent girl. Everyone you'd made a monarch had some form of trauma. But you treated them like tools, even toyed with their lives. You don't know the first thing about justice. Then do you believe you could have saved me? Huh? Let's say you had been around back then. Could you have saved me from my father? I had nowhere to run. I was just a scared helpless child left to suffer by himself. Well, could you really have saved me? I mean, probably. We're, we're protagonists and all. Even now, there are surely others being brought up in the same hell that I was. And yet you've done nothing to help them. Well, that's... You only destroy the evils you just happen to come across. But you'll never save everyone. Me. I have the power to change the entire world. No one will ever have to suffer as I did ever again. This guy's logic is idiotic because there's like, yeah, like heroes want to save whatever anyone who needs help. But there's no way you're going to be able to save every person. It, it's just it's just the way the world works. Unfortunately, unfortunate as it is, that's just how it works sometimes. Like it's impossible to save every single person. To do that, you need something beyond what the Phantom Thieves can offer. You need more than some childish heroic fantasy. But that's not justice. All you're doing is brainwashing everyone. You're taking away their freedom, who they are. You sound a lot like Artorius right now, basically taking their free will, making them all in the Molochim. And what's the difference? Both of us change the hearts of others against their will. So how am I any different from you? <sighs> Don't you understand? What? For you, changing someone's heart means imprisoning them. But for the Phantom Thieves, it means setting them free. You may steal desires like them, but the Phantom Thieves give people hope. Maybe you don't realize it, but I think, deep down, you know you're nothing like them. Mm. It seems there's little point in discussing this further. If we can't reach an understanding, 
then only one side can remain. It's time to decide which of us truly walks the path of justice. We're gonna have to fight a robot? <laughs> there aren't any real heroes left. So, why not make our own? Rivers in the desert? What? The world needs someone willing to fight for its people's justice. A hero to lead them, to unify them. And they got the remix treatment. A hero like me! Oh, I love this. 